Hello everyone, welcome to success class. I hope you all are doing well. So let me check everything is proper or not and then we will resume our session. And I am Gaurav Soin. And today we are going to discuss about UGC withdraws mandatory research publication before PhD thesis submission to enhance quality. So it's a very, uh, you know, needed, much needed, uh, you can say, uh, decision of UGC, which we are going to discuss in this video. So before getting into it, if you are new to our channel, consider subscribing and hit the bell icon for latest updates. And this is our website in which you will get all the information regarding PhD admissions as well as job vacancies. So you can find the link in the description box, right? And uh, there are various sections in which you can uh, get to know a lot of things. In this section, PhD and research, you will find the uh, latest PhD and mission notifications. In this career corner, you will get to know about uh, recent job vacancies. In this quizzes section, you will be able to attempt quizzes regarding Red GRF set paper 1 as well as PhD entrance examination. In this learning section, you will be able to get the access of free PDFs. In this video channel, you can get the information of the most viewed video of our youtube channel in this contact section section you can contact us and this about section you can know more about us and we are also available on facebook as well as on telegram you can uh, join us uh, and the link is given in the description box right so let's jump to the main content of the video and this is the interface of our website as you can see Right, and today we are going to discuss about this particular notification of UGC that is UGC withdraws mandatory research publication before PhD this is submission to enhance quality. So there are basically uh, two important things which is being discussed in this particular regulation. The first one is regarding allowing students to join PhD program upon completion of their four year undergraduate degree means after completing your four year undergraduate degree you will be able to enroll yourself in the PhD program and the second one is <clears throat> uh, dispelling apprehensions about these regulations adversely affecting the quality of research work done currently edu educators insist that these steps will help improve the standards of PhD research the second step is regarding that there is no mandatory uh, requirement of publishing any sort of research work before your PhD thesis right because the reason behind it is I'm going to tell you the entire crux of this uh, post the reason behind this discontinuation of uh, you know research publication before PhD thesis is that the research scholars are publishing their research work by giving you know certain amount of fees which is against the uh, you know uh, ethics of research right so they are just detroiting the uh, quality of their research because it is a mandatory condition earlier that you are supposed to you know publish a research paper in any kind of peer reviewed or you can say uh, in a referred journal but this UGC regulation will give a lot of you can say uh, relief to all the research scholars who are currently pursuing their PhD because now this mandatory research publication criteria has been withdrawn by UGC and the universities can make their own criteria means there is no mandatory requirement behind it but if universities want to frame their own policies or rules and regulations re regarding research or publication before the submission of PhD thesis then they can do so right so this is the entire uh, you can say uh, concept behind this uh, discontinuation of research publication before PhD thesis right so here it has been mentioned over here that it is the responsibility of the research guide as well as uh, committees to ensure that the topic of research that is chosen by scholar is unique and has the potential to get published in the quality journals so now this particular thing is also added that it is the responsibility of the supervisors or research guides to provide them a unique uh, topic 
for their thesis so that in future if they want to publish it then the society will get uh, you know benefited out of it right so this will definitely leads to improve in the quality of research and the entire thing is being mentioned in this particular post so you can read it so i have just uh, given you the crux behind this particular ugc regulation the uh, two mandatory decisions of ugc is that you can pursue your phd after four year undergraduate degree and the second one is there is no mandatory research publication from ugc side before phd thesis submission and the this thing is been done in order to enhance the quality because nowadays research scholars are giving some sort of fees in order to publish their research work because it is a mandatory requirement but now you are free to do it if you want you can publish if you don't want you are not bound uh, to publish any kind of research work as per the ugc norms right so this was the entire video and the link is given in the description box if you want to read this particular post so you can read it out so thank you so much for your valuable time let's meet in the next video have a nice day god bless you and have a very nice day ahead bye bye